Harper for Kids is a children's nonprofit organization founded in 2008. Their education program is based on legendary UCLA coach John Wooden's Pyramid of Success, which teaches youth about essential character traits that can help them achieve their personal best in life. Here to tell us more is the co-founder, Peanut Louie Harper. Peanut, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Oh my gosh, what an honor. Thank you for having me. Yes, first and foremost, I need to congratulate you because you're one of Cron 4's remarkable women finalists. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. Oh, awesome. It's so, so exciting. I can't even believe it. What a huge honor. Yes. And it's because you're doing such incredible work in the community and for kids. And we're going to touch on that in just a little bit. But Harper for Kids is based on Coach Wooden's Pyramid of Success. And so I have to know the backstory. How did that all get started? Yes. And, and it's a long story, but I'll ho hopefully condense it. But um, long ago, you know, when I retired, um, a friend of ours that played at the San Francisco Tennis Club, Steve Jamison, um, professional author, and he co-wrote a book with Coach Wooden called Wooden. It's nicknamed The Little Blue Book. And he gave it to me and I read it and I fell in love with Coach Wooden's philosophy of success. And it's all about, you know, that peace of mind and direct result, knowing that you've given the best effort that you can. Um, and I'm just like, wow, if my parents could write a book, I felt like it would be the same values, and Coach Wooden just says it so perfectly. Um, and you know, fast forward, um, Tim and I, we just wanted to help get this message to as many parents, kids, and teachers as possible. And so in 2008, um, my husband Tim and I uh, started Harper for Kids. Um, I can't believe it's their 17th year coming up, and um, amazing to have reached over 170 schools, 100,000 kids, and hopefully we're putting it in the hands of these amazing educators, teachers that really care and value um, character education and helping to continue Coach Wooden's legacy. Yeah, absolutely. It's so incredible. Congratulations Thank on you. the book and what it's turned into. I want to dive a little bit deeper um, on Harper for Kids. So what do kids experience in the program? Well, you know, basically it's like, you know, for parents, it's just kind of parenting in in the schools it's called um, character education and you know um, being able to help Steve Jamison and Coach Wooden on his children's book, In Shema's The Journey to Success. Um, they use that as the vehicle to teach their students about his pyramid of success. And it's really all about trying to help kids be happy, um, trying to find their happiness, and just focus on themselves. Like we hear a lot of um, ways that teachers call the pyramid of success like a roadmap to success. And it just every day, they just the students can just try and work on their hard work, their enthusiasm, their skill, their loyalty, um, poise and confidence, and just really focusing on their effort and focusing on themselves. You know, so much of what kids worry about, the peer pressure, comparing themselves to others, um, this really just helps the kids just stay focused on what a positive definition of success is for themselves and just really focusing on trying their best every day. Yeah, it's so, so cool. And I love that the book is a big part of that. When you were writing the book, is there any lessons that you took from Coach Wooden when you were getting to have that time with him and, and get that book finished? Yeah, you know, with Steve Jameson, you know, he's like the professional author and I was like the big cheerleader. I was like, oh, we got to get this book out. And, you know, just I think the part that I was kind of nervous about was Steve said, well, you guys got to go down and meet Coach Wooden for the first time. And you know how you put people up on the pedestal. I'm like, oh gosh, what if he's not nice or, you know, and we went down and met him and he was even much nicer than you can even imagine. So down to earth and so humble. He just, you know, would just spend the quality time with you and you just become a bigger fan of his. And um, he's, he lives the way he teaches people how to be their personal best. Yeah, the best way, he really lives that in being the example of everything that he teaches to everyone else. Yes. How did you use the book with your own two children? You have two kids. Uh, one of them has been on our show, and Jared, he's a musician. We've had him on our show. You have the, the loveliest kids. Casey is behind the scenes, has been here a couple times. But how did you use the book with them when they were growing up? You know, it's the same thing where, you know, Tim and I, we, you know, you just want to be the best parents that you can be. And, you know, to me, it's almost like what Coach Wooden teaches. It's like proof in the pudding because you can see how it affected, how it affects your kids and how they, you know, grown up and to be hopefully, you know, 
good people. And I do ask the kids all the time, you know, Jared and Casey, I said, you know, how has it impacted you that you've heard about it your whole life? And, you know, Jared had said, you know, told me the other day, he says, you just try and be the person that you want to follow and people will follow. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's such great wisdom. And I asked Casey, you know, uh, with her life, and she's had many challenges that she's had to overcome with her in her life. And she just says it's a great mind mindset shift. So when things don't go your way, that it helps her kind of just reset and think of, okay, I can get through this. I won't give up. Um, you know, I have my goals and, you know, I'm just going to keep going and, and just trying my best. So it's nice to see that it has impacted them in such a positive way. Yes, your parenting has worked on them. Oh, You're doing you great, hope, Mom. <laughs> I want to take it back to the kids um, and Harper for Kids. What is some of the reaction that you've seen from the teachers that are able to implement this program? What do they see with the kids? You know, I think just from what we're hearing from the teachers, like the challenges that they've had, especially the last three years, um, you know, it's just being able to get along with each other again, um, you know, some behavior issues. But I think, like, they're the ones that just, you know, they tell us what, how it helps their students, how it helps them be better teachers. And I think that's the beauty of Coach Wooden's definition of success. It's not just great for the kids, but it's also great for us adults, too, and that to know that we're, we have to be responsible every single day for the way that, you know, we're acting. You know, are we being respectful? Are we being kind? Um, are we trying to be the best person we can be? And the kids are like sponges. They pick all of that up. So we just have to be mindful that, you know, you know we're, we're the role models for these kids and we hope that they're picking up all the good things that we're trying to put in front of them and um, just being proud of themselves and to find their happiness in life. Well, congratulations on all of your accomplishments from the book and implementing it into a program that is helping so many kids all across the whole state. And then also being nominated and as one of our finalists for Cron 4's uh -huh. uh, Remarkable Women. Congratulations once again. Thank you. Thank you. I admire everything that you're doing just watching you at work and your poise and your confidence and being such a great example of everything Coach Wooden's Pyramid Success is all about.